Hello Zwifters, welcome to another episode of How to Run on Zwift. Today we're going to specifically be looking at foot pods. We love foot pods, they are the way that you get your data from your foot into Zwift. How do we do that? Well, there are two different kinds of foot pods. You can either buy a Bluetooth foot pod or you can buy an Ant Plus foot pod. Now, it depends what you're running Zwift on as to what one you use. So if you're running Zwift on a computer, so a Mac, a laptop or a PC, you need to use Ant Plus technology. For that, you will need a USB stick, an Ant Plus USB stick. That's this little thing here. That plugs into your computer. It's basically a receiver. It will receive data from the foot pod and it will put it into Zwift. So you need one of those fairly cheap on Amazon. There are two foot pods that are fairly common in use on Zwift. One is the old standard Garmin foot pod. You may already have one of these. If you run outside a lot, you may have bought one of these. The Garmin foot pod, there it is there. Or you can use the Stride foot pod. This is fairly new to the market. This is the Stride. There's also a Stride Live. It looks exactly the same. It's just got a few pared down metrics so you don't get power, for example. The, uh, the whole reason the Stride came out was to offer power in running like they have power in cycling. But the Stride Live, which is significantly cheaper, um, does not offer power, but it works very well as a foot pod in Zwift. Uh, a lot of people think the Stride is the foot pod to go for. It's certainly the most expensive um, and it certainly manages speed on Zwift very well. So those are your two Ant Plus options. If you're using an iOS device, so Apple TV, um, iPad, iPhone, you will need a Bluetooth device. The budget option, the one that lots of people go for if they're just starting out on Zwift and they want to get a feel for it, is the Milestone foot pod. So that's this little fellow here kind of squarish looking thing. This is the box for it. You can get that for around 25 pounds, uh, 25 US dollars, um, maybe even cheaper than that these days um, on Amazon. Um, or you can get a Bluetooth foot pod called the Polar Stride Sensor. That's that fella there. That's a little bit bigger, a little bit chunkier and a little bit more expensive. There's also the option of using a chest strap called the Wahoo Ticker X. And that's this fellow here. There's the Wahoo Ticker Run and the Wahoo Ticker X. Both, if you use a little trick, both will broadcast not only heart rate, but your speed and cadence to Zwift as well. The trick is to go into the Wahoo app on your phone, go into run mode, start a run using your Ticker X, and then immediately swipe out of the app and then log into Zwift and your Ticket X should be there available for you to run. All those devices will work to send speed and cadence to Zwift. There are other items that you can use. If you want to spend a load of money, then you can buy yourself a treadmill. Some of the really expensive treadmills do broadcast in Bluetooth, so you won't need a foot pod. Your treadmill will do the job. Or um, there's something called a tread tracker. That's a little wheel that sits underneath the treadmill bent uh, belt, touches the belt and sends a Bluetooth signal as it measures the speed of the belt. So you can use one of those. They're about I think $100, 70 pounds UK, something like that. The other thing you can do is if you only have Ant Plus technology and you don't want to go and buy a load of Bluetooth technology, is you can buy a bridge. Now, a bridge is something that converts the signal of your Ant Plus technology into Bluetooth. So there is the Viva 4i or the 4i Viva um, and something called Cable. Uh, look those up. They are bridges which will convert your Ant Plus signal to Bluetooth. And that's it, guys. Do join me again for another episode of How to Run on Zwift very soon. Take care. Bye bye.